Ioni here from Eve's Garden Handmade Soaps. Today I'm going to be making a uh, another batch of my strawberry fields that I made about a year ago. Hope I can do it the same. This is only the second time I'm trying it. I've got my oils here. Uh, coconut, palm, uh, olive, canola. I'm going to be and castor and I'm going to be super fatting with um, African shea butter at 5% so it should be a nice uh, moisturizing emollient bar here um, I want to say something about the palm oil that I used because it's got such controversy headed around it um, I use an organic palm made by or processed by tropical traditions and they claim they do not use any unsustainable practices or do anything bad. This is what it is. And I think it's a shame that a, a lot of pe unreputable people are, are making it bad for uh, everyone on this palm oil thing. But I am going to be using this up. Maybe I'll switch since there is such controversy over it. But I just wanted everybody to know that the palm I use is... As far as I know, organic and and sustainable and their practices are above board. Just wanted to say that. I'm soaping at about 100 degrees today because I'm doing colors. And uh, I want it to gel so the colors are bright. I don't have a bar to show you. I'm adding my lye water here. I don't have a bar to show you because they're all gone. Um, I did do a cutting video of the first one. It's called Cutting Strawberry Fields, if you want to see what the bars look like and what I'm attempting to do this time. But I'm basically just going to go along here. I'm uh, going to probably fast forward it up to the end when I show you how to do the uh, in the mold. So let's get started. Thank you. 
Now this uh, base color is going to turn a little darker because there is vanilla in the strawberry, oh, which we can't do anything about. Now I'm just going to drop this in and then eventually do a hanger swirl. So here we go. I want to get this to go down a little ways, but not clear to the bottom. And it's kind of thick, so I think that's probably exactly what's going to happen. Let's see. Let's do a white next. Kind of thickening up fast, even though I didn't put the uh, fragrance oil in it. And how about this uh, pretty coral? Representing um, the berries that haven't got ripe yet. Always a few of those. Oops. Spill it. And last but not least, the light green. more white or base color. think I want any of the green for the top, just the red and the white. Let's 
So that's what I did last time and it was kind of pretty that way. because I I'm methy and I get it up on my arm sometimes okay Let's save a little of that for the top and some of this for the top too Hope I'm not in your way of the camera there. I probably am. Sorry. Did I do next? Did I do this one? I did this one. If I didn't, oh well. out here too. look like it's sinking down there even though I'm trying to flick it as hard as I can. Okay, so now I'm going to bang this down. So I don't like banging it down after I do the hanger swirl. It um, kind of makes the swirls look uh, more, um, I don't know, squarish or something. Get angled more than a, a nice pretty flow, I think. So I like to um, to uh, do all my banging before I swirl the hanger part. And I'm going to save the rest of this because I want to get the top covered with it and there's not that much left. Sloppy, sloppy. Get in there, you. Okay, that's not going there too much. Okay, let me get my hanger. Alrighty, now let's put the rest of this on. Get this covered up as much as I can here. 
So I just kind of want the red and white on top, if possible. If not, oh well. They're all pretty colors, as far as that goes. And then I'm just going to chopstick swirl the top. I really like that look. I do it on a lot of my soaps. Just because I think it looks pretty. I don't want this to look like a Christmas soap. That's why I want to get the green covered up as much as possible. Sorry if that's in the way. I imagine it's not too pretty to look at the bottom of this tub. Okay, I think we're going to call this good and get the white and the red on. Look like the soap base is going to turn yellow on me. But I know the vanilla is going to take it back to a beige, probably. We'll see. The first time I just left it a base color and didn't even put any uh, white in. Like I added a little white this time because I thought it would, after seeing the other one, I thought it would be prettier that way. But now that it's turned so yellow, I'm not sure what it's going to do this time. Oops. I am so messy. I guess I should get my long gloves back on. Okay. White. to go in between where the red is here because I don't really want the red covered up. Wasn't my intention. My camera is still uh, filming. We'd sure love to get a movie camera one of these days so I wouldn't have to worry about the time element. Okay, it's just about done here. chopstick. Have I brought it over here? I guess not. You get to hear my my little slippered feet plopping back and forth again. I notice that when I watch my videos back. I go, 
it sounds like I need to get some slippers that are the right size. Okay, let me get my chopstick. Now I'm just going to be going in the surface of this doing my little figure eight. First one way, then the other way. Okay, that's going to be it. I'm not going to be putting glitter on the top because I like when the colors are nice and vibrant to look at on the top. I will bring the camera down closer so you can see it. Oops. Try not to shake it around too much here. That's what it looks like up close. So I will cut it and post some pictures at the end. Then we can compare to what I got before when I did this recipe. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.